find ways that transport us from illusion to reality. It could be by way of poetry. Poetry often lifts you from one place to the next in an instant because of the way a phrase is turned. It could be sitting with a teacher who, while being in their presence, all of the difficulties seem to fade away because now you're in a place of light and you're in a place where there's no fear. It can be by just being with a loved one and expressing love to that person and having that person express love back to you. That interchange of love creates a certain kind of safety and a certain kind of trust. And with safety and trust comes peace. Why do you think babies stop crying when they're held? Well, it doesn't change as you get older. We need to hold each other. We need to love each other. We need to communicate that love to each other. And we have to do it in the kindest, most gentle way possible. It alters states. And when two combine and do it together, angels report on it to Allah. Here's a place where love is going on. Here's a place where your qualities are being demonstrated and are being felt. It's incredibly important that we walk around creating love. Love is that fire that burns all of those other things away. Can you be in love and be angry at the same time? Can you be in love and afraid at the same time? Can you be in love and be resentful at the same time? You can't. So the question is, what holds sway in our being? Does resentment hold sway in our being? Does anger hold sway in our being? Does jealousy hold sway in our being? Or does love hold sway in our being? Is that what controls us and what makes us function? And if it isn't, we have to work to make it so. So we have to walk with a more gentle step. We have to talk with a more gentle tone. We have to be with a more gentle being. The way to become loved is to be lovely. We have to become lovely. We can't expect love from others. We have to give love. And in the act of giving, love will come. Why did we love our teacher? Because he loved us in such an incredible way that we felt a sense of peace and trust when we were with him. And the love was so strong, we became grateful for the love. Gratitude is one of the ways that you can enter reality. If you can be grateful to the ones who love you for the love that they give you, then you become lovelier. I uh, was with a friend of mine in uh, Medina, and uh, he was telling me about all, he, he was from Saudi, and he was telling me about all the things in Medina, and he took me to all the different places in Medina, and he showed me everything. And he really was spending a lot of time with me and being incredibly kind. And I said to him, uh, you polish me here in Medina. And he looked at me and he said, but Musa, who polishes me? And I said, when you polish me, you become polished. And that's the way it is. You ever see a cloth that polishes things? Look at the cloth afterwards. It gets a sheen. It's polished. So we have to become polishers. And as we polish, we become polished. 
as we do, we become. As we do, we become. As we love, we are loved. As we anger, we are angered. The reciprocity in this existence is really quite simple to see, but difficult to comprehend in the midst of it. Smokers don't smell smoke. People walk in the room and they gag, and the smoker goes, what's wrong? They can't smell the smoke. I know, I used to be one. It somehow fades away, and you don't think anything's there. It's there, and it's there strong. It's just somehow you've lost the ability to see it. We need to bring back the ability to see our state. Just as if a smoker could smell the smoke the way a non-smoker smells it, he would stop smoking. So if we could see our state the way other people see our state, we would do something to alter it. We would do something to become more kind, more genuine, less self-absorbed, more giving, more polishing. We've all been put here to polish each other. This is our work. And if we do the work right, we become polished. And in that, we become brighter and brighter and brighter till we give off light. And in that light, we become closer to Allah. And that's the path. That's what we need to do. We don't need to write about it. We don't need to read books about it. We need to become it. We need to become close to it. Not that we shouldn't write about it. (laughs) And that we shouldn't read books about it. Because the Quran is a book. The words of the prophets have become books. The words of the saints have become books. And they're important to read because they can change our state. But unless that state is changed, none of the other things are worthwhile. So it's all about being conscious of our state and changing it in an appropriate way so that we are in an appropriate way so that we walk love around so that we take love from one person to the next and that our internal strength to be able to do this is not subject to the whims of illusion because as you become stronger in love those things that are opposite of love will begin to attack you. That's what happens. And you're-